Hi, Genki Call here with the Depths of Sin Faction 500 Deathless Attempt number one. I have not done Pure Faction here yet. I haven't done level 500 yet. This is my first try. So the team I've been working is a little unorthodox. Um, I haven't ever seen anybody actually use the Volcanic Golem before, but I'll explain him in a minute. So the way this team works, you can see I'm using Zulgoth, Rope Dart, Thrall, and Volcanic Golem. Thrall is here, of course, for some quick mana for the entire team, and to keep that mana coming, he is a lot more efficient to use than the Leprechaun for extended battles. For short battles, I like the Leprechaun, but for Thrall, he is more consistent. So Thrall, Rope Dart is going to strip the armor off of an enemy completely, do some damage, so basically true damage, pull them to the first position, give me an extra turn, and entangle the first enemy. And that is because of the upgrades for Rope Dart. So that is going to help my Volcanic Golem help uh, help him to live. He does have Skull Damage Reduction by 50%, which is why I have him in the front. He is going to explode a gem, burn a random enemy for every red gem destroyed, and gain 60 life and armor. So he's a nice tank up there. Um, it, it's, you know, 60 life and armor is going to be helpful. I mean, of course, these guys have got an attack that is, you know, through the roof. But with the 50% uh, skull damage reduction, um, that's going to help. And then Zulgoth, of course, is going to insta-kill an enemy, burn and freeze the entire team that's left, and then create a bunch of skulls. So this is why I'm worried about skulls. We want to be sure and get that first, well whomever I pull up to the front of the team entangled. And then the other reason I chose the Volcanic Golem instead of another one with 50, 50 plus percent um, skull damage reduction is that he deals double skull damage versus burning enemies. They're all going to be on fire unless they're immune to it um, when Zulgoth casts. And if you don't have Sunspear or Slayer or... Um, Warlord or one of the classes that has Fireblade that will give you triple skull damage reduction, this is an option that you can use. Um, and it's been working great for me. I do have Fireblade, but I need to level up some other classes. I'm using Tide Collar simply because, you know, I like my visuals, simply because of this third trait, explode a blue gem when matching four plus gems. So basically it's like the lightning strike from other classes that you get at, as a level 70 talent. So again, this is something that's for somebody who's a little lower level and doesn't have things leveled up to a hundred yet. This is something that you can use or even up to level 70. So Titan customize level 70, Lightning Strike, explode one yellow gem on four plus gem matches. So Frost Mage also has that and a few others. But um, anyway, Tide Collar, it's all you have to do is trade it to get this. You don't have to get it up even one level. You just have to trade it. So anyway, this has been working great for me. I'm thinking that this is going to go swimmingly. Ha <laughs> ha, Tide Collar swimmingly. That was <laughs> unintended, but yay. Yay for puns. We love puns. All right, here we go. So I have first thing I'm going to do, this is a free turn. I'm going to get this guy up front and I'm not really worried about him. He can die or not. What I am worried about are these guys with the skull damage reduction and this guy who will summon and is a pain to deal with. So I'm not even going to bother casting what I'm going to cast or, well, no, I mean, I had a match four, but if I'd only had a match three, I wouldn't have bothered. Um, what I want to do is get more mana. I want to get some more mana for Zulgoth, but um, there we go. But, you know, Rope Dart has a free, <laughs> free kill there, so to speak. So anyway, usually I would only show the final battle for Faction 500 Deathless because it can get kind of boring to watch a bunch of battles. But there are only three battles here, plus... Um, in Depths of Sin. You only have to do three to get to the final battle. So uh, anyway, the in case you hadn't noticed, basically you want to get purple mana for the Thrall as soon as you can. And then 
We definitely need to get rid of him because I'm using Tide Collar. Submerge myself when I take damage and he, he'll devour me if I'm submerged 50%, but I'm more worried about Vodnavoy right now. So we did that. Keep your mana flowing as best you can. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cast again. Then I will take my free hit here. We'll take care of Zulgoth. I love Zulgoth. So glad I was finally able to craft him. Now she is immune to burn, it looks like. Immune to burn. So that is okay. We'll just get some more mana and we'll we'll heal her with Zulgoth instead. Not even going to bother. Just don't cast on Zul. Ah! <laughs> Oh, well, that's okay. We'll do this again. It's not enough to kill her, so I just decided to take her out with Zul instead, rather than cast with Rope Dart and anyway. Anyway, so the trick is, as I said, keep mana for the team. Use Rope Dart to entangle the first enemy. You could use uh, Essence of Evil if you don't have Rope Dart. Um, it's not the end of the world. Just um, What am I saying? Uh, yeah, just you really want to make sure that first enemy is entangled if possible because of the skulls that Zulgoth creates. So we'll do this again. Trying to get some more mana for Zul. Oh, I lost my mojo. There we go. All right, he is buffing himself, and I'm okay with that because I'm going to insta-kill him. So we'll get the Iron Jaw up front. We'll kill this guy. This is Iron Jaw. No, I'm sorry. Infernal Machine. I knew I said that wrong. Ooh, look, I'm almost dead. Ooh, double damage isn't going to do it. So what I need to do is not die, if possible, because I'm trying to do this deathless. Don't hit me. Ah! 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 <laughs> I have two hit points left. Two hit points. Ah! Deathless on my first attempt. Yes! That is awesome. <laughs> That was so close. Ah, uh, yay. So faction 500 deathless is done for depths of sin. Next up is going to be doing pure faction, which I'm not going to attempt right now. Um, do doing pure faction at depths of sin is definitely iffy. Uh, and I'm not up to that right now. So we'll put that off, but I should have some pets in here. Yay, more pets. For depths of sin. Ah, oh, and I can even upgrade it. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, wait. I forgot to show you something. I'm so sorry. My horde. My horde. My horde. <laughs> sorry. Slurring here. My horde is only at level 101. That's just slightly above what people normal normally have it up to. So I have an extra one life for my team. And then in um, Sin of Mirage, my my kingdom level here is level 14. So that means I do have the two 25% faction horde stat bonuses as well. So anyway, let me level up this pet so I can have it for when I'm ready. I can't remember what it's called. Semi-demi-demi-naga? Semi-demi-naga. There we go. Yay! get that up to level 10 we will have a level 50 or sorry level 20 pet for sin of mirage once i'm able to do the pure faction 500 there at depths of sin but in the meantime i've got a level 10 and you know i'm one more five more gems and one step closer to another orb of chaos so anyway i hope that you have enjoyed this video i will try to come up with a team that will work faction 500 that doesn't use Zulgoth, for those of you that don't have Zulgoth yet. I don't know when that will be, but for now, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!